And it too. On the train. <laughs> That's the right ring. On the train. <laughs> What's going on, young man? <laughs> How you been, man? You know me, the cameraman. What's going on? I got I got to the video with you real quick. Mr. Zone say? Six is with my man here, you know. What's up, man? The real Don George Messiah. I'm here. That's Happy it. Video. What's the best? Always, man. Everything good? Trying to make it? Yeah. 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 Yeah, two years in a row, right there. It was, uh, I'll be now. I'm 76. He looks good. God bless you. Yeah, he looks great. He's 76. He went, he was in school, he was in school a year after I was born. Hey, you're a vegan or vegetarian? Huh? I'm a vegan. I committed every vice you can think of. I'm a fat wife. I'm saying, are you a vegan or vegetarian? How do you eat them all? I eat everything. What time is it? Uh, when I can. You <laughs> <laughs> see a lot of people that live long, they eat early. Well, uh, the thing of it is, is uh, I always had a fast metabolism. I had two orange jacks. I have Asian orange. I close the gate to Asian orange. And uh, I survived two wars. God bless you. Wars in two hemispheres. A lot of people don't remember the Dominican Republic in 1967. Now my, I was born in '83. You were born in '83. Yeah. You were born when I. You were born when I graduated high school. High school. I went with out in Long Island. Oh, I came up with uh, more vibes and then I got You know, Jay Z got his sneakers the one that he scored 100 points on. Yeah. The '89 flight. Oh wow. He scored 100. Points. What I hate about uh, New York, guys that are good here, yeah. that are great basketball players, they go to other colleges. They, yeah, and they don't, you know, like going to Long Island College, or they don't, they won't go there. Hey, John's got the best head coach in college, Rick Pitino. Yeah, he's the best in the business. But the thing of it is yeah, but they have they have to leave because it's too much. It's too many people here. You're not going to get a break. What happens is the coach sees a certain group and they go for that certain group, and then the other kids that are better they don't get a chance, so they have to leave. Yeah. They have to they have to leave. Well, it seems like to me like the best player. Where are you from? Brooklyn. Guess who's the best ever come out of Brooklyn? Uh. That'd be Connie the Hawk Hawkins. Lenny Wilkins. No, Connie the Hawk Hawkins. Lenny Wilkins. He's a Hall of Fame basketball player. Yeah, he, if you ever saw this guy play, he was incredible. Uh, think of a six foot six Walt Brady. Okay. He, 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 he could do it all. He could play me. He can rebound, he okay. Can shoot from the outside, I got a, I got a good drive. question. Where are you? He, look, look, he, he, run, he skate around LeBron James. Yeah, but it's a different generation. But this is what happened. He got caught up in a betting scandal that he was not even involved in. And it kept by the NBA his best playing year. He went back to the NBA, he was a terror, but he was too old, you know. Through the NBA, they gave him a pile of money. You know, it was a guy, and the thing of it is, is the chicken hearted players that were taking the money, they named him to try to, you know, to minimize their thing. To because uh, a prosecutor is always going to say to somebody who's giving it up, you got to give it somebody. Yeah. Yeah. He wasn't even there. So they just used him. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he was the best player on the team. You high school, he was. But, but uh, he went to Boys High. 
So he probably went to City College. Yeah, I think he went to City NY. Yeah, probably City College, yeah. yeah we, he still has an MBA draft. So any college can have an MBA draft. Oh, yeah. D1, D2, D3, any college. Even Juco. There's a lot. Only in 1920. Yeah. As long as you're right. As long as the right people see you. They draft you on potential. Yeah. I, I tell you what, though, this is what a lot of kids are missing out on. Fencing. They pay the highest grant scholarship. Ma, okay, you remember that song, Santa Claus, the Black Man? No. All right, my friend's daughter, she was, uh, she played, she played on probably prep, she played on the boys team. Oh, she, yeah, 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 she, she, she 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 played she played point guard for them. <laughs> and, and, and she went she she could have went to Connecticut to play basketball, but she went to Iowa for fencing. Hey, there was uh, another girl, a black girl from Canada. She was looking around for scholarships, and she didn't know nothing about fencing. But she jumped into fencing, and she liked it. She was overweight, she dropped all that weight, and got into a really serious thing. And the next thing she knew, she wound up in the Olympics. She won the gold in the foil and the safe. Wow. And I'll never forget her name. My name was Wow Hallelujah Brown. <laughs> <laughs> wow Hallelujah Brown. Yeah, this is the story. Yeah, you, get a little, you get a little history lesson. Yeah, man. Uh, uh, he, he was in high school when I was born. You know, I was born in 64. How old are you? What? How old are you? 76. Hey, good. Yeah. I hope I get here. I hope I make it to his age. I'm on my way to the VA now. I'm the experiment. <laughs> oh, you still alive, Mr. Reese? <laughs> well, one beautiful, one beautiful thing is I got one aunt. She's a, she's eighty-two. My oldest aunt, eighty-two. Every year I see, I'm like, wow, that's a blessing. And then, like every year, every year I, I got an uncle that's ten years older than me, so I'm turning sixty. He turns seventy one day before me. <laughs> I keep telling him, I say, Uncle, I'm going to catch up to you. Huh? I'll be 60 in April. Oh, man, you're going to be young. I thought you were like 47. Huh? I thought you were like 47. Nah. Nah, what, what, can, what can be young is like I play, I, I still play basketball. I'm hoping like when my, my, my grandson will get born, I'm hoping I'm able to play when he gets a little older. Because his mother's like, your dad, handball star, basketball, he did all types of sports. So I want to, you know, I want to, I want to play with him. He's like, I got grand. Yeah. Yeah. My granddaughter, she's what? She's 12 now, and she she loves basketball. But the, the thing is to have fun and to just to oh, of course. That's all I do. <laughs> have fun. Well, I put all my energy back on the court. No, what happened was I um. I was running. I was running track. I was doing gymnastics and wrestling, right? And my brother, my brother was shorter than me, but he was playing basketball like two years before me. But that was when Dr. J did that dunk from the free throw line. Yeah. That was the first time I watched that. First time I watched basketball. So he says, "Come here, I want you to watch. See what you watch." I'm like, I wasn't into that. All I see is him take off from the free throw line. I wanted to do that. I was able to do it though. I done it. I done it quite a few times. Like back in the day, basketball. No, I, I was, when him and David Thompson was out in Long Island, because I was out in Rosewell, him and David Thompson was taking photos off the top of the back, literally in front of my face. And I, like Laverne taught, 